bad. So then, okay, Jean de la Harpe. So you're going to interview. Uh, Norma Neseni. Norma Neseni from Water Integrity Network. Oh, let me just get that at Germany. Okay. So, I'll film. Norma, you're from the Institute of Water, and um, I know that you're working in SWAP and you're very passionate about the sector-wide approach. Um, I'm wanting to know in particular what is important for you about the sector-wide approach? I think uh, it's very important for people, different people, to talk together. And in talking together, one of the things is we prioritize better, we use resources in a much more efficient manner, and we clarify roles and responsibilities. Right now there's a lot of duplication and you find that different ministries are trying to achieve the same objective. But that can be done much better if we sit and talk together using the sector-wide approach. So building the sector and getting collaboration with other sectors. Yes. Now, I know that you are busy documenting cases. Um, which countries, Norma, are you documenting? We are documenting uh, Zimbabwe. Primarily Zimbabwe, one of the issues was that in the 90s, Zimbabwe was well known for their collaborative process, what they call the sector-wide approaches that they use, particularly for the WASH sector. We are documenting the Philippines where they've also tried to use the sector-wide approaches, and it would be good to get an Asian perspective. We are also documenting Ethiopia. Ethiopia has been strong on IWRM and we would like to see how they collaborate among themselves in IWRM. We are also getting Uganda. Uganda has gone through a lot of sector reforms and they are well, very well known for SWAP. Great. And we hope as IRC to also add South Africa to the list and uh, other countries. Um, what are you hoping to learn from these different case studies? What we are hoping to learn is what has worked and why it did work. What have been the funding mechanisms and how can we better use that for integrated water resources management? So really is what worked in those countries, why it worked, and what has failed and why are people not talking to each other? And once we have that, we synthesize and we share for policy makers, for implementers and to use it as for advocacy. Do you think the sector-wide approach has assisted in building the sector in Zimbabwe? Yes, particularly for water it did help. And we found that it was very useful, largely from a funding perspective. Because what happened was the donors were putting money into a pot, into a basket funding. And therefore, all the other sectors had to talk to each other, to sit down, to plan together, to prioritize together, and that did build a very strong integrated approach in Zimbabwe. Did it include both the local and the national level? It definitely did. What, were, what would happen is all the relevant ministries were meeting on a monthly basis and then the donor community together with civic organization and the public sector would meet on an annual basis to talk, to discuss and to formulate policies.